Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to export ProRes in Premiere Pro. If you're like me and you sometimes make stock footage to make some extra money, or you sometimes have clients that need you to export in ProRes, this is going to be really helpful. When I first tried to do this, I found it really difficult to work out how to export in ProRes, but it's actually incredibly simple when you work out how. So I've got a little clip here. This is some stock footage I found online. This is the little train. So if you go in here, there's a quick shortcut for you. If you press Command and M, It'll bring up the export window for you, like so. And now it's got the basic settings that it does normally. So you want to go over to, you want your format to be QuickTime. And now just leave this for now. Then you come down here to Video Codec, and then you choose the version of ProRes you want. For this, I'm just going to select 422. Oops, sorry, wrong one. ProRes 422, like so. And now here, we're going to leave the quality 100. We don't really need to mess with that. Now for, the, for this, you're going to change it to... I'm going to change mine to 1920 by 1080, like so, because this is what I'm exporting it as, is a 1080p clip. And as you can see, we've got these black bars here, but don't worry about this for a second. We'll go back to this quickly. So if you want to do 720, you could, 2K, 4K, 6K, maybe even 8K if you want to, I don't know, um, but you can. And now frame rate, make it whatever you want. We're going to change this to progressive. And now... Down to Aspect, I'm going to quickly change this to Square Pixels and you'll see it's been fixed here now. So if we scroll down some more, I would recommend Maximum Bit there and Maximum Render Quality and then use Previews and then just click Export. And if you want, instead of coming through and doing this every time, you can go up here and then Save Preset like so and just name it what you want. Like I have the preset here saved already. Just save the, and they'll save you time in the long run. Thank you for watching this video, and if there's any tutorials you'd like to see, please just comment below. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to get in touch with me easily. Thank you, and bye.